Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week for the week starting Monday the 5th of December. Let's look back at last week's trade. It was the Australian dollar against the euro. Unfortunately, this one didn't work out. Now, you could say that ultimately we could have placed our stops right at the top up here. Instead, we chose this level here. We were looking for this to roll over. We had broken through support here. One of the things that undone this trade was the move that we saw in terms of Eurozone inflation towards the downside, one towards the possibility that we could see the ECB easing back on their interest rate trajectory. But ultimately, what we're looking at here is a continuation of this, what could be a sort of rolling over pattern here. But instead, we've just rallied into the wider move rather than broken support and moved from that point. Let's also look back at a couple of the other ones that we had open. Unfortunately, again, we've got this US dollar against the Chinese yuan. Now, of course, this was fine until we essentially saw the Chinese decide to move into a position where we're seeing them easing back on restrictions. That certainly has been the ultimate undoing of this trade with price breaking down through this neckline, giving us this head and shoulders formation. Um, so that ends that bullish trend that had been playing out. Of course, we were looking for another rebound for this market which for a period of time was working out well but of course things have started to turn with protests clearly now having an impact and then finally looking at the pound against the yen i mean i did say last week i thought it was quite likely we were going to pull back from here but the rally that we did see took us into 16909 and so I do think that this is essentially going to be another bottom. We're starting to move higher once again. I saw another higher low. You can see here with the higher lows here, here, here. Another one here from the 100-day SMA. So I do think expected a pullback, which is what we have been seeing. But I think there is a good chance we do see this market start to push higher from here. Uh, so happy that this one's still open and that still does remain valid. This week, I'm going to look at energy markets. We've seen a lot happening over the weekend, be it OPEC, be it the G7 uh, move to reduce the price willing to pay uh, for Russian seaborne crude. But I think the big mover is what's happening over in China and the potential for a big uptick in terms of uh, demand for China. The wider time frame does show you this weekly 76.4 fib, which has held up perfectly here and we're starting to move higher from here. So we could look for a wider rebound here for Brent crude. I think it makes sense, quite frankly. You know, I don't necessarily think that we're going to break through this price swing low of 8080. So I'm looking for longs here in Brent crude with a stop loss just below this 8080 support level. Let's just put it at $80. $80 stop loss. And let's see how this one plays out with hopefully an extension of this rebound uh, to turn crude towards the upside. Once again, hopefully we'll get a nice bounce in energy markets from here.